And a very good morning to you. It is Wednesday morning, the 6th of October, 2021. And this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. If we go to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 8 and verse 27, Jesus said, Who do men say that I am? And then we go on a bit further to Mark, chapter 8, verse 29. And Peter said, You are the Christ. You know, when I gave my life to Jesus Christ, I did not give my life to an ideology or to a certain denomination, but I gave my life to a person. His name, Jesus Christ, my best friend. Do you know that there is more evidence that Jesus walked on this earth 2,000 years ago than there is that Julius Caesar lived on this earth? And yet, why do we always question that fact? Why is it that we always doubt the fact that Jesus is God made flesh? If we go to the book of Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14, and this was written hundreds of years ago before Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Foretold hundreds of years before the birth of Jesus Christ on earth, and yet we still seem to doubt it. But today, you and I need to let our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ do the talking. Don't just tell folks that Jesus is your friend. Show him that he is your friend by your action. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. You know, I remember years ago when I was living in my little Poland dogger house with my wife and children, a man came to visit me. He was a school teacher. His name was Pete Ace. And he came with a group of his students. And he was traveling around South Africa. And he said to them, I'm going to prove to you that Jesus Christ is alive and that he is the Son of God. We are not going to take one cent with us. We are not going to beg. We are not going to ask for anything. And the Lord's going to take us for a holiday. <laughs> right around South Africa for a month. And he arrived in Great Town with his whole class. One of my Christian friends introduced me to him. And what an amazing man. He sat in that little house of ours one night with a guitar and he started to sing. And then he started to prophesy over Jill and I. Now, we had just given our lives to the Lord. I, I hadn't even started preaching. And he started telling me things that would happen. And you know that every single one of those things that he prophesied, has taken place. And I just want to say to you that there is more evidence today in my life that Jesus is alive than the day I met him and gave my life to him. Today, remember, he is the Christ. He's the soon coming king. He loves you and he died for you. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.